हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एसजीटी यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम डॉक्टर नुद्र जहान फ्रॉम फैकल्टी ऑफ बिहेवियर साइंसेस टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट ब्रेन इट्स स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शंस ब्रेन इज द इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया ऑफ सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम इट इज मास्टर कंप्यूटर ऑफ ऑल द बॉडी brain controls all the body through its specific regions here we will discuss about the structure of the brain in details as well as what is its role cerebral cortex is the outer layer of the brain cerebral cortex is also referred as gray matter due to predominance of cell body cerebral cortex is only about 1/8 of an inch thick it has a wrinkled appearance the wrinkled appearance of cerebral cortex is known as sulci and gyri sulci is a shallower groove that surrounds a gyri gyri is a ridge on the cerebral cortex sulci and gyri contains billions of neurons each one may connected to the thousand of others it has some grooves also these gaps are called as fissure as major division brain cerebral cortex is divided into four lobes frontal lobe parietal lobe occipital lobe and temporal lobe frontal lobe is the outer covering of the cerebral hemisphere the cerebral cortex it is the front area of the central fissure it occupies the area nearest the face this area is concerned with the body movement parietal lobe is a portion of cerebral cortex behind the central fissure it plays a major role in skin sense such as touch temperature and pressure occipital lobe is the portion of cerebral cortex involved in vision temporal lobe of the cerebral cortex involved in hearing brain controls all the body through its specific regions here we will discuss about the structure of the brain in details as well as what is its role we will start from the brain stem brain stem is the portion of brain just begins above the spinal cords and continues into the center of the brain where the spinal cord enters the brain two important structure medulla and pons locates Medulla regulates the vital body functions such as breathing and heartbeat blood pressure as well as coughing or sneezing 
response is a portion through which sensory and motor information passes. It contains a structure known as reticular activating system. RAS is concerned with sleep, arousals, regulation of the muscle tone and cardiac reflexes. Behind the medulla and pons there is a structure called cerebellum. Cerebellum is the part of brain which is concerned with the regulation of motor activities. It creates synchronization in muscles. Through this synchronization muscles complete target actions. It also plays significant role in learning process. Midbrain contains extension of reticular activating system. It also has center to response vision and hearing. These centers are known as colliculi center concerned with vision is superior colliculi and center concerned with hearing is known as inferior colliculi Hypothalamus is extremely complex part of the brain which contains highly specialized functions related regions. Hypothalamus regulates the autonomous nervous system. Hypothalamus also creates balance in the body internal environment which is known as homeostasis. Role of hypothalamus in regulation of hunger and thirst is extensively studied. For regulation of these activities, hypothalamus area coordinates with pituitary gland in the brain and regulates the several form of motivated behavior. Limbic system is created by the linking of several structures in the deep brain. Some structures are hypothalamus, amygdala, thalamus and hippocampus. Thalamus works as the relay station for the brain. Thalamus is located deep within the brain. It receives sensory input from the other portions of the nervous system. Thalamus transmit this information to the cerebral hemispheres and other parts of the brain. Hippocampus plays important role in formation of certain type of memories. Amygdala is involved in aspects of emotional control and formation of emotional memories.
so today we learn about brain its structure and functions next time we will learn about spinal cord its structure and function so keep learning keep growing